In this video, I'm going to be using the Fixed App and OBD2 sensor to diagnose a check wallet light that I have on my 1997 Chevrolet Camaro with the 3.8 liter V6 motor. So again, I've got a check wallet light on my Camaro. And what I've been experiencing is, not all the time, but sometimes I have hesitation on acceleration. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the vehicle on. Right. You can see that the service engine light is on. What I'm gonna do is hook up my fixed OBD2 sensor. So long as your car is like newer than 1996, it should work just fine on your vehicle. Well, first thing I have to do is download the app to my phone and register the product. So inside this package on your sensor, there's a little code taped to the back. You'll need that code to register your product on your phone. You just fill in all the prompts for the registration of the app to your phone. So once you're ready to go, you'll put the sensor on the OBD2 port. Then you can connect that fixed app on your phone via Bluetooth to the OBD2 sensor. Then you can start diagnosing check engine lights on your car. The app is pretty cool. It's got several different uh, features to it that, that really kind of go in, into some depth on your vehicle. And they have some fun things that, that you can do too, it's like a zero to 60 quarter mile, um, like a jet plane kind of cockpit thing. It's kind of cool. You can also get data in real time to your phone, like intake, manifold, temperature, different types of things like that so it's pretty cool and whenever you have it registered you connect it to your email as well so whenever you check a code you'll also get an email saying we noticed that you checked a engine light on your whatever 97 Camaro and uh, there'll be some links and stuff to some more information so this thing doesn't just tell you what the code is it also gives you like troubleshooting methods and some common issues and why that code may be appearing in your car. So pretty neat little little device. I've used it and uh, it's been quite helpful personally. So I've already got this thing all registered on my phone. I just need to plug in the sensor into my OBD2 port down here underneath the dashboard and uh, we'll be able to connect to the car and determine what that service engine light is uh, all about. So this is the sensor itself. Let's go ahead and pop this thing in. There's my port. It's gonna go ahead and connect it. Okay, we get that flashing blue light there that flashed for just a second. That shows you that it is connected properly. All right, so we've got the sensor plugged in. Click open the fixed app. And down here in the left-hand corner is the scan button. And tap to scan. A little advertisement, I'm gonna close that out. It's communicating with the sensor and I can see that the blue light is blinking. And I'm just gonna select my car. Okay, here's the issue. Mass or volume air flow circuit low input. The code is P0102. I'm gonna go ahead and click on there. Simple description, mass or volume air flow circuit low input. Minor issues, see how rare this is. You can click and get more information. Code explanation, uh, consequences of continued driving. So it gives you a little information there that's really nice. Engine may run rough, which is exactly what has happened slow throttle response. I've not necessarily seen that, but as I'm accelerating, I do have some hesitation. The engine does seem to run a little rough. It's almost like it's cutting out, like it's not getting enough fuel, which the mass airflow system does dictate how much fuel goes to the engine, so uh, that makes sense. Code explanation, P0102, the mass airflow sensor measures the amount of air coming into the engine so that the engine computer can put in the correct amount of fuel. If the sensor is not working properly, the engine computer will not know how much fuel to put into the engine, which will cause it to run poorly. That's exactly what my issue is. It's cutting out. It doesn't seem like it's getting enough fuel. So we know that it is the mass airflow sensor. What I'm going to do is take the mass airflow sensor off of my car, and I've got some mass airflow sensor cleaner. I'm going to clean it and see if that resolves this issue. If it doesn't, then Potentially, I'm just going to have to get a new mass airflow sensor. All right, so we're going to clean the mass airflow sensor, or MAF for short. It's a very important sensor for fuel-injected cars because if this is dirty, it's going to send the improper readings to the computer, which will then send the improper amount of fuel to the engine, causing it to run rough. We've got our air box, our air cleaner. I'm actually going to take that out and clean it 
I live on a gravel, dusty road, so I'm pretty sure that's going to be packed full of dust. So if dirt's getting through the airbox, it can get the wires on the mass airflow sensor dirty. So we're going to take this out and clean it up. All right, so for the V6 Camaro, the mass airflow sensor is right here. Before we even get started with that, I'm going to disconnect the negative battery cable. Anytime you're messing with sensitive electronics, it's always just best to be cautious and remove the ground. Uh, these are specialty torque screws. They have like a little post in the middle. I ended up having to buy a specific toolkit from Harbor Freight. It's the 100 piece security bit set. I think this is like 10 bucks. So inside this, we've got the T20 Torx with the hole in the middle. And that'll fit over that post and that'll properly remove the screw. All right, now we're gonna remove the pigtail. There's a small tab I need to push down on, pull back. It's that tab right there. Okay, that's what the port looks like. And then here's the, are the wires for the sensor. So those need to be cleaned. I'm just gonna use this stuff I picked up at AutoZone, Mass Airflow Sensor Cleaner. Okay, so these wires that are in there are extremely sensitive, so I wanna very carefully clean this definitely don't want anything to get on these wires so I wouldn't advise getting down on the ground and spraying this down on the when you're on the ground because dirt could fly back up from the pressure of the can this stuff dries pretty quickly let this dry slap this thing back in and see what it does for our engine code I don't want to tighten it too hard I definitely don't want to crack the plastic on this thing I just put that pigtail back in all right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is pull the air box out and clean the air filter. It does look pretty dirty, but I'm gonna use some compressed air and we'll clean this out. Probably wouldn't hurt to go ahead and replace this, but for the time being, I'm just going to use my compressed air and just clean it out the best I can. So we blew out quite a bit of dust out of this thing. Need to put this back on if I plan on going anywhere. All right, let go. This thing's trying to steal my wrench. Let go. All right, he let go, but I had to kick him in the right terminal. All right, so I'm out taking this for a test spin to see if it'll, if it's still doing what it's been doing. All right, so no hesitation on that pole. Like I said before, it happens periodically. It doesn't happen all the time but I'm gonna keep driving it and see what happens. I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna pull onto the highway here and see what happens. No hesitation. All right, so I had to stop and get gas in the car, and as I pulled out of the gas station and accelerated, it started hesitating. Of course, it's when I don't have the camera on, so I'm going to try to do it again, see if we can't duplicate what just happened, but this time catch it on video. All right, so we had one little hiccup. When I did it before, it kind of went ba 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 This time it only went eh, ba ba Something's failing within the sensor, so, so I guess I'll go ahead and get a new sensor. The nice thing about this fixed app 
is I'm not chasing maybe thinking it's a cylinder misfire or maybe a fuel filter's clogged or fuel pumps going out or something like that. Some other things that could be more expensive. So this fixed app does take some of the guesswork out of it. 75 years later. All right, so we're back with the Camaro today. I decided I was gonna go ahead and order a brand new airflow sensor for this car. I checked out AutoZone and they had this particular Hitachi brand mass airflow sensor part number 0005 they had it listed for like 95 dollars and so i thought i could get this cheaper elsewhere so i went to rockauto.com and found the exact same part and with tax and shipping it was 25 dollars cheaper than just the list price at autozone so you still have to pay tax at autozone on top of the 95 dollars so i definitely got the much lower price with rockauto.com and it was at my house within just a couple of days so let's go through this on the camaro All right, got the negative battery cable disconnected. Pull the sensor out, pull the pigtail. Pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. Plug everything back in, put the battery cable back on. We'll see if that did the trick. All right, so what I'm actually gonna do now is use my fixed app to clear the check engine light, get it off the dashboard, and I'll drive the car for about 20 to 50 miles or so and uh, see if that light comes back on. That should be a sufficient enough range for the computer to sense that the airflow sensor is working properly and uh, hopefully that check engine light won't come back on. So I wanna clear this. I'm just gonna hit the big red button here at the bottom. Pretty easy peasy, clear engine light. So I'm gonna click that button. And then you're gonna see that that dash light's gonna go out. We'll drive this thing for uh, 20 to 50 miles and that should give the sensors and everything enough time to do their thing and uh, hopefully that check engine light will stay off. All right, so that's gonna do it for now. So we'll check back after I drive this thing for about 20 miles or so. All right, so I've put over 50 miles on this car since I've replaced the airflow sensor and reset the check engine light. So we're gonna pull onto the highway here real quick and give it the beans and uh, see if it hesitates at all. the check engine light has stayed off so replacing the mass airflow sensor did the trick I want to give a special thanks to fix for sending me the sensor to use on my channel as a DIY dude a tool like this really does take the guesswork and a lot of the headache out of diagnosing what's wrong with your vehicle and for me in particular with my Camaro it helped me diagnose what was wrong with the seemingly a misfire in the engine I could have chased spark plugs spark plug wires fuel filter or fuel pump any kind of those issues but Checking the engine code can really narrow down what the issue is on your vehicle. So it's going to save me money and time in the long run. And I'm glad to have a tool like this. Well, if you'd like to know more about the Fixed app, you can check out Fixed.com. You can purchase this product directly from the website, or you can find them at these large retailers. All right, well, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Be sure and check out the channel. I've got all kinds of videos on repairs some vlogs some product reviews and such. If you're so inclined, hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in the merch you've seen me wear in this video, hit the link in the description below. As always, thanks for watching. God bless. Be sure and hit that like switch on your way out. We'll see you next time. Like a boss.